Hi everyone, it's Rachel. Today I'm going to be making a video showing you how to get this hairstyle. This is a wig, um, and basically what I did was I put it in a high bun, and I wrapped all around the hairline so that you couldn't see my natural hairline, and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So starting out, this is what my natural hair looks like. It's uh, growing in from being shaved. I've been shaving it since December of 2012, so it's just kind of a thing. I grow it out, I shave it. Um, anyways, I'm going to put on my wig cap here, and I'm just going to kind of go through the steps just in case anyone watching this video is new to wearing wigs. So if you have short hair, what you want to do is you want to make sure you get all of your little wispies underneath including your little sideburns as much as you can and you want to make sure you get the nape of your neck covered um, and I'm going to pull this back a little bit more right here just making sure that my hair is still tucked alright I'm happy with this from here I'm going to take my wig this is precious metal from Geisha Wigs I've had this for about two months um, it was 20 pounds which converted to American dollars is thirty one dollars and three cents and then shipping was nine pounds so it was thirteen ninety six so altogether this wig came out to a little under fifty dollars which for the price and the quality of it in particular is fantastic um, most synthetic wigs in america aren't that great um, not many of them are synthetic uh... high temperature synthetic fibers meaning that you can straighten them up to hundred and eighty degrees or curl them or you know, just use any uh, heat heat tools on them. Um, so from here, I'm going to be putting my wig on. This wig is a nice uh, bluish teal color. Um, occasionally it looks gray. It looks pretty gray in this video. Right now it's a little bit um, nappy, but that's just because I just took it out of the bun. And it also just, it's in serious need of some love right now. Um, I'm probably going to be making a video showing you how I take care of my wigs just in terms of getting them straight and tangle free. Anyways, from here, you're going to go up, make sure that that's covering that, and then what I do, any easier than just trying to pull it up, I just go upside down, try and pull the top of it a little bit forward. And that's my little doggy bandit. He's a yapper. I think the wind is blowing outside, honestly. Um, so I'm just kind of pulling it up, adjusting it a little bit as I go. Um, I don't want, I want some volume, but I don't want any crazy lumps or bumps. Um, I just don't think that's very pretty. Um, still going. Okay, so I'm happy with the height that it is on my head, and I'm happy with um, that one little piece. I'm happy with how it actually looks. So what you can do from here is, if you want a more polished bun, I probably would have uh, brushed through this a little bit more, and you can use you can use a hair tie uh, or a scrunchie, and then you can put a little hair donut around it, and then pin it around the donut. Um, I'm going for more of like a messy bun type look. So from here, you can either tie it and then turn, make it into a bun and then put another hair tie around it. But what I really like doing, especially for a lot of volume, is I just go around. And then I take my hair tie and I can wrap it around twice. Or just once. Just once this time. So <laughs> this is a very thick wig, so... I'm not surprised that I couldn't get around more than once, so I'm just going to go ahead and put another hair tie on it. Um, if you want it to be extremely secure, you can put bobby pins in it. Um, it's all just personal preference. If you want the wig to feel more secure on your head, not like it's so top heavy, what you can do is you can take some bobby pins and you can just pin them like that. And what I'm about to do is I'm going to put a hair wrap on it so that it looks a little more natural and that it uh, hides the hairline because obviously right now, you know, looking around, you can see some of my hair a little bit fell out of the wig cap. So um, you have a couple of options. You have 
hair wraps like this, the elastic ones, or one of these ones that has the little, it's like a mini turban, um, or like this, or a bandana, or anything like that. So for this one, what I'm just going to do is I'm going to pull it over on top. I'm going to cover most of my ears, and I'm going to make sure that the back of my hair is covered, as well as the back of the wig. And then what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to pull out a little bit of a couple of pieces from the wig itself. Um, just pulling them out front, kind of go with the look and on this side too. Let me get a bigger piece than that. There we go. And basically from here, I'm just going to kind of redo the bangs a little bit. The bun is a little lopsided. If I had pins, I would probably pin it more this way. Um, and then I'm going to show you another option with a bandana. So I'm showing you another option, and what I've basically done here is I've put all of it into a high ponytail. Um, and from here, I'm just going to leave it in a ponytail and show you what it would look like if you weren't doing a bun. Um, so I'm going to take my bandana, which I just you know, folded into a triangle and kept folding over itself. And I'm going to put it underneath that, make sure I don't get any wig hair caught in it. I'm just going to tie it up. And from here, you can tie it into a little knot if you'd like. Um, you want to make sure it's loose just so it is covering your whole hairline. I mean, that's kind of the key. I am going to pull a piece down on this side. Um, this wig does have layers, like I think I mentioned earlier. Um, you know, it's really, this whole look is all about preference more than anything. Um, so, you know, you do whatever you want. The first time I did this hairstyle, I had it all, I had it on a really high bun, and I had it really teased, and I kind of looked a little bit like Marge Simpson, um... But this time I'm just kind of doing this. I'm going to turn around and just show you the whole look just so you can see what it, I'm working with here. Like that. The other side. Um, it was a little bit more difficult for me just because I do have these sideburns. If I wanted, I could tuck them up a little bit more. But this is just kind of showing you the gist of how to get this look. Um, this is basically it. If I wanted from here... I could turn it back into a bun, use a scrunchie or a hair tie, put it over it, there'd be a bun, um, you know, and that's basically it. Um, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I will be making more videos about wigs and stuff. Anyways, have a nice day!